accidentally hit the intro button again. We're live. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to get this, you would think. Um, <laughs> but look at us both with our iPads here chilling on the couch. Exactly. Do you like this setup? I'm actually very comfortable with this. I'm, I'm Alex Albrecht. <laughs> and I'm Kevin Rose. And welcome to <laughs> DTLT Today. Yeah. No. I really wish um, that we could drink beer. <laughs> Maybe that can be a Friday thing. The door is the doors open. Maybe hey, we want to close it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, we were trying to think of topics for today, and I figured why not talk about DTLT today, a little bit about the setup how we make it look like this. Um, this is the first time we got the couch going and everything like that, but uh, <laughs> there's actually no curtains behind us. It's a green screen and there's lots of other things going on and I figured that's the kind of thing that people might be interested in knowing about in addition to some of the tech things, uh, you know, the services that we use right. to tweet out and do things like that. Yeah, I came back from lunch and the place was completely redecorated. So yeah. this is this is what what we have now. And that's how I do it. <laughs> so. Um, I love it. Tim's, yeah. Tim's got some vim and well, verve. Well, and you mentioned uh, you use Wirecast. Yep. Um, and you mentioned that this past Friday. Um, so Wirecast helps a lot. It allows us to use the green screen feature so that we can put images behind us. The couch is real. We're not sitting That's on true. milk cartons. That's true. It's a very comfortable couch. So it couch. is a comfortable couch. Um, <laughs> but the green screen allows us to do that. It allows us to switch between shots, and I've mentioned um, being able to use the keyboard shortcuts so that I can use the iPad to switch between the different shots so I can do that. Um, one thing that I thought would be cool is to be able to do a quick tour of some of the actual equipment. So I can s switch over here. I'm using that cool little um, camera that you mentioned. What's it? The IP? IPVO. IPVO. Point to view, I think is Point to view what camera. it's called. They, they make a bunch of products, but that was a webcam that I found for it. it, it we were kind of researching ways to do, um, like, replace document cameras. Uh -huh. And it's about a, it's a $70 camera. Um, You'll notice that that there's a lot of blur and that sort of thing, so it's not really good for fast motion. Right. Um, and it's a USB camera, so there's a bit of a delay, um, or actually the, I might be ahead of the audio with this particular camera. So USB goes to the Mac um, faster than the FireWire does, so there's there's issues with with synchronization and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but it was just a you know it's a, a seventy dollar camera to give us another shot, if you will, you right. know, very cheap other shot and also to do um, like I did I demoed the other day the the iPad and showed what was on the screen um, yeah. so it's good for document camera that is cool to be able to stuff. show people what you're doing on the iPad because yep. trying to get it through the VGA or, and stuff <coughs> is really difficult or the iPhone so yeah. Um, yeah that was it was a it was money well spent and it comes with a nice little articulating um, you know stand yeah. and you can move that around you can twist the top of it um, and it, it one of the other things is that we don't really do this in our sh in our shop, but it's also kind of good. You can take it off the stand and use it really like a pencil. And so if you were if you wanted to show somebody the guts of a computer or something oh, like okay. that, you can just kind of really zoom in, and it does it does uh, do kind of macros very easily. Uh -huh. um, so you just kind of point it to where you want it to go, um, and it, it really is kind of a handy little camera. It is cool. Um, and I've used it in a couple of the presentations that I've done, um, showing off the kit and. Uh, uh, some of the TV shows that I've done at, at NMC and that sort of thing. Yeah. So well, I'm going to jump up here to actually show people a little bit about what I've got going on. Like I said, I rearranged earlier, and this will give you all a view of how it looks. Um, you can see, wave, Andy. You can see. So, see, green screen. Um, it's not yeah, blue. So, so that's the green screen. It's on those <laughs> huge bars, and that's actually cool. It's a really big one. We were using really tiny ones, so if you look at the first couple episodes, uh, everybody sort of crouched in together. <laughs> And now they're not. Now we can spread which out. Which is cool. Um, that's the camera over there. And another thing that I set up was Wirecast will let you export exactly what they're broadcasting through a VGA signal, through anything on the MacBook Pro. So what I did is we've got that plasma display over there, and that's exactly what's being broadcast out to Justin TV, which is perfect because it's facing the couch. Exactly. So we can see what y'all are typing. I can see Noise Professor. Yeah, I was I was squinting to see the uh, the comments before, and at least on the chat, I can see these a little bit easier. Now yeah, they they won't be able to tweet during the show. You're a little you're a little older. It's understandable to have to focus some more. Wow, it's understandable. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Okay, uh, <laughs> so there's the laptop using Wirecast. Um, 
bunch of other junk on the desk right now, webcam and some stuff for when we do Skype. Um, mm. Basically, that's it. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, a, a ficus and a, and some ferns would be would be good. That a little kind of a jungle sweet, theme, but we did have a jungle for one of the D, for the DS106 classes. We did have a a jungle uh, background using the green green screen, but. Uh, some real trees and, and foliage, I think, would be nice. Yeah. Um, so thanks for that suggestion, Zach. Um, hey, before we before we go on, I do want to um, the the kit itself. Mm -hmm. We don't own. Um, right. It's actually uh, we're borrowing borrowing it from our college relations division here yeah. at, at Mary Washington, and uh, they're the people who purchased the kit. Um, I I spec'd it out. I you know I got the MacBook Pro and got all the software and everything to kind of go with it. Um, but they're still letting us borrow it, and, and we've used it quite heavily. And, and thankfully, they've, um, you know, any, any situations where they've needed to use it, we've got it, gotten it back to them. But they've been very good about letting us keep yeah. it. Um, we've got, I think, one of our own on order. Right. Um, one of the changes that we talk about that we, that we wanted to make, the, the MacBook that we purchased has a 5,400 RPM hard drive. The one that we're getting, um, there's an upgrade to a 7,200 RPM drive. We're hoping that will um, clear up some of the issues with video hiccups and, and that sort of thing. Also with little video snippets that we try, like the introduction, for instance, right. that, we try, that we put in before the show starts. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I notice when I watch that, it has some real kind of jerkiness to it. So we're hoping the faster right. hard drive um, will, uh, will improve that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, it, so exactly, 5,400 RPM drives are for suckers. <laughs> um, I totally agree. Yeah. Um, um, some of the... Let me talk about some of the other tech stuff, not just the Wirecast piece of it, but how we broadcast it out. So we use Justin TV, which should be obvious to anyone who's watching live right now. Uh, we've got that allows you to embed it on any website. They give you the code to embed it. You can embed the chat underneath of it. Um, and Wirecast awesomely can pull in any desktop that's on your network. So I've actually got a little shot up there so that people can see uh, what's happening in the chat room on our video, which is cool. Yep. Um, so we use Justin TV for broadcasting, and Justin TV will do a recording, but it's just this low-quality flash version. Mm -hmm. It's not the high-quality version. So I usually record the high-definition version directly in Wirecast. It'll let you broadcast and record at the same time. Um, so there's two uh, videos that get created, one that's being pushed out to the web and one that's recorded. And the recorded one, then, I upload to blip.tv. So... Blip.tv is a website that is really made for podcasts and web shows. Uh, it allows you to upload a video, and it can then distribute it out to YouTube, to Vimeo. We've been playing some with that. Mm -hmm. uh, all these videos go to my YouTube account. They get posted on a Facebook account. They go out to Vimeo. They get broadcast as an iTunes channel. So, in fact, if you go to iTunes and search for DTLT today, mm -hmm. uh, it will come up there as a podcast that you can subscribe to and get all the latest videos in there as well. And Blip.tv does all of that. Yep. And and, and that really was a, a nice addition that I I had talked about, I think, a little bit in some of the presentations that I've done, but I never it was never as important as it is now. Right. And one of the really nice things now that we have the Blip TV is that um, it is very iTunes friendly, whereas Vimeo and YouTube aren't. Yeah. Um, Blip TV will then deliver that to you know an iDevice, which I have at home, an Apple TV. Mm -hmm. So it's just part of my subscriptions now. I just get the latest update. By the time I'm home, I can watch this version and and show off to my wife. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm doing. You know when she asked me what I did at work today, I just kind of go, well, let's go watch the Apple TV, right. honey, and <laughs> um, you know show you show her what what's going on. So. Um, it's. I think the the Blip TV idea was was great. Um, you know, a great addition to to this setup. And yeah. uh, we're we're constantly tweaking this. If if people out there are using Wirecast in in any way, I know you've been contacted um, by by Telestream themselves mm -hmm. and um, have been featured on on their their blog um, about about uh, Wirecast. Dr. Garcia <coughs> asked if the chat goes in the actual video, and it does. That's getting pulled into Wirecast. So everything that people chat there will actually be in the final video that people can watch on the website and in iTunes. All of this that gets broadcast also gets recorded. And we don't have a seven-second delay, so if um, people do 
see the need to put some funky stuff in the chat. You know, yeah. we, that's going to be in there for good. So, yeah, this um, is your chance. It'll be associated with your name too, Noise right. Professor. So just just be aware of just that kind care. of thing. So, yeah. um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, Blip.tv. One of the other nice things to do with distribution, and I'm sort of hoping. Uh, that will get qualified to do it is that they will actually distribute to like Roku boxes to certain television, mm -hmm. internet connected television sets. Those distributed features only work for shows that they deem of high quality. So, Whoa. yeah, we, we <laughs> I think we're just going to have to keep stepping up our game until the point where we are uh, in that high quality um, realm in order to get on there. But that would be awesome because I know a lot of people who don't aren't Apple fans like you and have an Apple TV, but they do have a Roku box to watch their Netflix or they have one of those newer TVs that can pull in this kind of stuff. Exactly. And it'd be awesome to be able to just say, hey, pop on your TV and watch DTLT today. Um, who is it? Uh, Rowan Peter asked where Timmy Boy was featured. If you go to the wire or the yeah, the Wirecast blog, oh, yeah. which is blogs.telestream.net and then slash Wirecast, nice. um, it, there's been a couple of posts um, since your feature, but you're probably the third or fourth one down. Mm -hmm. um, so just just search for that, and you can find um, where Tim's yeah. work was featured. And 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 really, uh, he's done some some great work with the with the iPad, in terms of controlling the interface. And uh, you know, it, that just makes things so much easier. And and something that I, I I'm glad he's come in and had some some time to work on. So well, the um, nice that's thing about beneficial. Wirecast, I mean, it's not cheap software. Let's get that out of the way. It's like four hundred dollars yeah. for the standard version and a thousand dollars for the pro. Yeah, and we're getting the pro version up. for our Are for we? our updated version is or updated version yeah. of the kit, as far as I know. So it's, it's great software, and it's definitely worth it if you can spend that. It's not going to be the kind of software that you're using if you're just broadcasting internet video from your house to do a quick show or something, unless you can afford that kind of money. <laughs> but the nice thing about it is there's this whole community of people there. They've got forums with people just hacking away at it and trying to do cool stuff with mm -hmm. it. And so that was one of the things I went in there, and I found people doing things with uh, USB keypads to control their different shots in Wirecast. Uh, we're actually getting a Korg Nano controller. A uh, noise professor might know what that is. Um, it basically does MIDI output <laughs> and you can control knobs on it and things and there are people that have written scripts to allow that to control Wirecast so in addition to um, not just being able to do it with the iPad it's just a USB device and it allowed me to control other things and I think that actually even allows you to do things like press the record and the broadcast button right. it, it ties directly into Wirecast in a way that um, mimicking keyboard shortcuts wouldn't do right which you you did have to press record here to, to start this particular session so right. um, that will that would come in handy now I can't remember. Is there is there any kind of standalone program? I mean, uh, UStream has their broadcaster. Um, the live stream service has their own broadcaster software that's free. Is yeah. there something f that that works with Justin TV that's the free? The only thing that's free that is a standalone application that'll work with it is the Flash Media Encoder. Oh right. Okay. Um, so that's something that's actually made by Adobe, and Justin TV will give you an XML file that you download and load into that <coughs> software. And it's got all of your uh, passwords and everything built into that file. So when you import that into the Flash Media Encoder, it knows all the settings that when you hit go live, it, it will work. Now you could probably also use like Cam Twist right. and take some stuff from Cam Twist and then, and then when Justin TV asks for the camera, the webcam, right. you can tell it using Cam Twist or something like that. So and there's a way around that as well. Yeah, and Scott Lowe and a couple mm -hmm. others were doing a lot of that stuff with DS106 TV. And that you don't even need Flash Media Encoder for. You can use Cam Twist with the web broadcaster that Justin TV has. So okay. you go on their website and say, I want to go live now. But like you said, instead of choosing your webcam, you choose Cam Twist as your input source. Mm -hmm. And then in Cam Twist, you can control all the picture in the picture green screen effects and things like that. Right. Cam Twist is a really cool piece of software Right. Um, when you're on a budget. So, um, Do we have a timer? We don't have a timer, do we? We don't have a timer. I think we're, I think we're probably we're close. We're probably to close. So that was a little background. Uh, if you're ever interested in any, anything else about DTLT today or how to broadcast web video like that, definitely hit us up on Twitter. I, th I created a Facebook page, so if you do the Facebook thing, I don't. Uh, other than creating pages, I just put crap out there, but I don't actually use it as a network. Um, but if you do, you can search for us and find us there. Um, lots of ways to get a hold of us, get in touch with us, and yeah, we're, um, ask those questions. Our, our fingers and tendrils are going all over the web now with the different different uh, outsources of, of yeah. what we do. So we're uh, we're trying to expand our network, I guess. Yeah. So. This, 
this is fun. Hey, this is comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> this I, is comfortable. I, I like this nice, setup. Well, we're doing this every day, usually around 4 o'clock <clears> Eastern <throat> time. So tune in tomorrow and the rest of this week. And anytime we're in the office, we'll make it happen. So thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Bye.